I am a Vacaville apprentice firefighter. I will always wear my blues with pride as a badge of honor. I will conduct myself with the highest form of professionalism. I will let my character be the pillars to hold me up along the way. I am a Vacaville apprentice firefighter. I am here to learn. I will listen twice before I speak. My grit will allow no excuses. I am a Vacaville apprentice firefighter. I will serve my community. I will ensure the prosperity of my department and our culture. I will exemplify our core values. I am a Vacaville apprentice firefighter. I will respect my fellow brothers and sisters. I will uplift those around me. I will display my gratitude for this opportunity. I am a Vacaville apprentice firefighter. I am not here for me. I am here for we, and we are here for them. I am a Vacaville apprentice firefighter. I kind of heard whispers of this program that was coming out that was new, that was different, that um, there's not anything really like it around. A paid apprenticeship to come and learn how to be a firefighter and eventually promote up. I can't explain it all, man. It's just a blessing to be here and be able to get this experience. I don't know that I would have gotten this anywhere else. You do really feel like you're one of the crew while you're training. The ability to build yourself from the ground up uh, in a fire station, that's what I wanted. We're able to get much more hands-on experience. It gives me a much better understanding of how to really apply the skills that I'm learning. You're getting paid and you're getting on-the-job experience while you're doing it. So other trades have apprentices, um, but there was nothing like this in the fire service that I had ever seen before or I had ever even heard about. You get your academy, you get training, and you get a family, you get a whole new family. The biggest thing is they take care of the people that take care of them, so um, you're never going to be alone, you're always going to be heard, you're always going to be pushed. The support that we're getting, it allows me to flourish. I came in not knowing anything. I'm going to make mistakes, and I'm able to make those mistakes and be taught and, you know, constantly get better over time. This apprenticeship program has totally allowed that for that to happen uh, organically. We're very wanted here, and we're all just a big team. With our crews, they know our levels, so they're, they're not going to ask us to do anything that we're not too uncomfortable with. The culture of the department being so welcoming. Just being able to go on the floor and hear the stories and listen and learn about, you know, how to deal with certain things, that's something that school can't really teach you. It's, it's a very unique experience that a lot of people don't get. You're going to be surrounded by a lot of dedicated people. This is your family away from your family. This is a dream. It honestly is a dream. I think the biggest surprise was just how welcoming everybody in the department has been, that er how many people are willing to take us aside and teach us. It's very personal training to me. Uh, it, a lot of time it's one-on-one -on -one or one on just a small group that's learning the training versus when you're in college. But here, and especially in Vacaville, the time that the personnel puts aside to train you, it's, uh, it, you can't replace it. The awesome thing about this program is that it caters to uh, people at each step of the way through the process. You can pick and kind of choose how you want this program to help you out as well. A couple weeks in, month in, we we're already like joining in on medical calls and uh, getting our hands on training and whatever they felt comfortable with us doing. Here, it's understood that you're learning, you know, and you're, you're trying to figure it out. So that's like amazing for anyone just to be able to be comfortable and, you know, get that extra bit of support. Everyone has their role, you know, and although I'm still learning, I'm able to fall in somewhere. When you're doing the real life experience and you're sharing that connection with somebody uh, that you're doing it with and you learn from people who are way more skilled than you. As far as apprentice, we are already hired in with the department. Our training is live in the field. We actually get to see and get hands on on a live event. You get to work on the job and see what it's really like and know that it's for you. We get to work 12-hour shifts at a different station every week. So we get assigned a station, which is with a crew. You show up at 8 a.m., um, ready to work, and whatever calls the crew go on, you go on, you're assigned a unit. So you can go to medical emergencies. Um, we do go to the fires, and the apprentice program gets you the experience to fight fire and assist the crews in whatever they need. We get to learn on calls. 
the crews that are on out on the stations, including the probationary firefighters, the captains, the engineers, they're all, you know, encompassed of bringing us in. They'll show you what we need to do, show you what different aspects to look for. And then as you get more comfortable, then they'll go, okay, how about you try it now? So then when you're in that live event, so then it's like, okay, you remember how we did this? So go ahead and try, give it all a try this time. I realized how much of a jack of all trade firefighters are, just their scope is like awesome from like medical calls to fighting fires to vehicle extrication. The vehicle extrication, we got to work with actual cars just to be able to look at their anatomy and cut them up. The idea of being able to save life or shave off minutes to be able to get the person to the hospital, you know, in a hurry, uh, orthodox manner, you know, uh, working together as a team. There is nothing like the, the SCBA training. Like we, uh, of course, we were messing around the jungle gym or the, you know, doing the pull of bars and everything. And we're going through uncomfortable tight spaces, uh, simulating when a structure collapses and we need to get out. With those on and that, that weight and just that feeling of you got to watch your breathing, you got to watch your breathing. Not just put it on, but actually be active in it and work out in it and sweat, you know, and just feel that air moving around me. Um, we got to participate on the prescribed burn at CMF. Just getting ready for the fire season to come ahead so they, you know, burned a bunch of stuff so that it wouldn't burn and cause a problem. Being able to actually put fire on the ground was very cool to see for real. It's exactly what it would be like and just experience for myself the fire conditions. We got to go near Lagoon Valley and be trained in a lot of the different progressive hose lays and mobile attack. The fire ground survival, how to stay calm in a mayday situation or throwing yourself out of windows. Learning how to get out of uh, windows, how to slide down on holes, how to slide down on ladders. We were hanging out of buildings, we were uh, going up and down uh, windows and everything. It was, it was really nice. That was, that was a lot of fun. So we're uh, expected to do 32 hours a week and that may range from apprentice to apprentice because they work with our own schedules. There are two different kind of days that we normally have. Uh, there's a 12-hour shift or an eight-hour shift. For our 12-hour shifts, we're in the station. Uh, we're running calls. We're working with the crews. We're training with them, too. We show up, get on the engine or the box with the crews, do our checkouts, have lunch, dinner, train, exercise. Uh, do prevention stuff, go do school inspections, business inspections. I mean, everyday changes is not it? You're eight to five or you know what you're gonna do or you have a set agenda. I'm running 911 calls. I'm doing the training with them, with the probationary firefighters and everybody's so nice about it, uh, giving me the ability to learn. And then our eight hour shifts, that's our apprentice day in the classroom uh, with Captain Coastal. And that's where we're focusing on a certain subject and working on our task book. So we have a task book that we um, need to accomplish before we're promoted to full time. All the sections that are relatable to uh, the fire service or being a firefighter, they're in the task book. So that goes from uh, structure side to wildland side to um, ladder operations. I mean, it just, it fully engulfs everything that we do. It definitely can speed up the process in the sense of getting things done uh, training-wise, which is really nice. I think that this apprenticeship will make me into the perfect Vacaville firefighter. It's giving you all the tools necessary to become a firefighter, and this is a head start in your career. I feel like it is a truly like one of the best blessings like ever. Just being able to go out into the, uh, the community and help out, um, just going out and seeing the effect that you have and the people that you help, it's just, for me, that's always what drawn me to firefighting. It's just crazy the amount of stuff I've been able to accomplish and the people I've been able to meet, how they've stepped in and impacted me and how I'm impacting this community because of that. Everyone's been great. It's, it's a second family. I mean, you're going to spend a third of your life at the least at the firehouse. So it's really nice having people that you feel comfortable around and that support you and you can trust. And that's all it's been at this point. To be able to have this opportunity to have this on the job training is an experience like no other. I, I can see like personal growth in myself already. I got to see firsthand that this is somewhere I want to work, and these are crews that I could see myself getting along with.
all the hands come together, be able to work together towards one common goal. I think that was probably one of the bigger learning experiences. It's going to be hard, it's going to be difficult some days, but it'll be worth every second you spend here. I just felt overall extremely blessed and extremely uh, fortunate to get this opportunity. This apprenticeship will give you the real life experience to go and say, man, I've actually done it and this actually works. And I've had nothing but positive experiences from it. And I believe that any future apprentice would have the same feeling that I do right now because this is the greatest job in the world.